Hey y'all, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today is a big day. You can probably see some fellas back here moving stuff behind. They're moving all the wood that was taken out of our house and cleaning up my carport, basically. So, but today we're going to make a crock pot meal. And so I wanted you guys to come along with me as we made a crock pot meal. <laughs> Okay, so since we're all working, they're working outside, I'm working inside. I've got some ladies coming to help me clean, get all the dust out of here and hopefully get it livable. Um, so I thought I would make a crock pot meal that I can just put in here and forget about it until supper time. But I also keep hearing the term Christmas in July. And I know some people like have a mock Christmas in July but I'm not doing that. I, I just don't have time to get out all the Christmas decorations. Hey guys. See, he's sweating. Did y'all see that? He's like sweating up storm working out there cleaning up it's the- hot. <laughs> it is hot. It's hot. How can we do Christmas in July when it's 90 some degrees? If you think it's hot here, if you don't change you your ways, right. you better get right. <laughs> anyway, so um, with that being said, I would just, I thought, well, we can do Thanksgiving. Summertime Thanksgiving in a bowl or in a pot. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make like a chicken and dressing and, but it's all gonna be in the crock pot and it is delicious. We've, my family's always called it Thanksgiving in a bowl. So that's what we're doing. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my crock pot and spray it good. Or you could use a bag, either one. And I have four large chicken breasts right here that we are just going to place in there. They're still just slightly frozen. Sorry if you can hear the, there's, they're sawing something on the carport. Sorry if you can hear it. Okay. So. Now to that, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little salt and pepper. Not much, cause you're gonna, there's so much seasoning in the, um, the dressing. So I'm just putting just a very little bit, not even half a teaspoon. Now what I'm also gonna add, just cause I add this to everything, you don't have to do this. This is just, you can use any kind of chicken poultry seasoning you like to use. Um, actually, some sage in here would be really good. Really make it taste like Thanksgiving in a bowl. Okay, so that's all I'm doing as far as seasoning the chicken. And I just did it on the one side. So, let's turn you guys over here. And I have a measuring container. And in that container, I'm going to put a can of cream of chicken. Now, you can make your own cream of chicken. That would be fine. I just have a can, and that's what I'm using. I uh, may do a video on how to make your own cream of soups if you'd like me to. Um, I don't usually do it just because the cans are more convenient for me. And, yes, I know they're probably not as healthy and not as clean but um, I just choose to use that. And so to that, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of sour cream. Half a cup of sour cream. Okay. Now over here, sorry guys, I know you can probably hear that saw behind me. I have about a third of a cup of water and you don't even have to do this you can just add the water or chicken broth or whatever um, I don't have any chicken base or anything so I'm just using the granule um, bouillon I do use somebody asked me why don't you use chicken base I do use chicken base but since we've been in the remodel and vacation I have just um, not been to the store except just for bare basics 
And so now I'm getting ready to. So I'm just pouring that in there. And I'm going to stir this up. So as soon as I get this stirred, we'll go on to the next step. Okay guys, so on top of the chicken, I'm going in with just a chicken flavored stovetop stuffing. Now at Thanksgiving, of course, I make my own dressing. Um, but this is, this is to be easy, quick and easy, but yet still have that same taste and flavor. So there we go, and I'm just going to kind of spread that out. And then on top of the dressing, or the, I say dressing, but on top of the um, stuffing mix, we will just dollop this liquid mixture, cream mixture, soup mixture with sour cream, the chicken, bouillon. So we're just going to dump all this in there. We're going to be sure to get it all. Now you might want to, this is only going to cook on low for four hours, but you might want to come in here at the three hour mark and see if you need to add any water. Um, I found sometimes it cooks up dry and sometimes it doesn't. I don't think mine will this time because my chicken is still, has a little bit of frozenness to it. It's still partially frozen. So I don't think I'll need to add any liquid, but I will check it just in case. Okay. There we go, y'all. That's all there is to this Thanksgiving in a bowl. Now, I would normally fix mashed potatoes, but I don't happen to have any potatoes. Well, I don't have enough potatoes. So I think what I'm gonna do is corn on the cob and some fried okra. So we're gonna have a little bit of summer with, um, <laughs> we're gonna have a little bit of summer with our Thanksgiving in a bowl. So I'll bring you back when it's ready. Okay guys, this has been cooking well over four hours, but four hours was plenty. So I'm just gonna come in here and kind of fluff it up and, I don't know, kind of mix it together. You don't have to do this. You can take your chicken out as one piece, but I just kind of like doing this and getting everything mixed up. I'm gonna put the lid back on and get everything else ready and then we will be ready to eat. Okay guys, there is the plate of our summertime Thanksgiving in a bowl, <laughs> otherwise known as on a plate. And it looks delicious. Bryant will be here in just a minute. He's getting butter for his corn, but he'll taste it for you in just a second. All right, this is the way Bryant butters his corn on the cob. Right there. He just takes a stick of butter and runs it through it. Perpendicular to the butter. And I make my own little corn crevice. Take a little salty, take a little pepper. Right there. All right, let's try this chicken dish. You ready, Mom? I'm ready. Okay, guys, he's gonna give the chicken and dressing. He's already taken a bite or two. Yep. You can see the corn has already been bitten off the... I couldn't wait. <laughs> Look at there. Very, very good. You can taste a little bit of sour cream, I believe it is. The stuffing. Does it taste like Thanksgiving in the middle of summer? It does. It melts together really well. Very, very tender. This is a got to fix right here. Easy. This is one you do when you've got a lot to do during the day and you just put in a crock pot and forget about it. Woo! Isaac was cutting a pork chop. <laughs> really good, really tender. Look at that. Just falls apart. Okay, guys, there you have it. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.